when I curated this show, Seven Solos at the museum, I went about it a different way than I normally do. I usually start with the artwork, but in this case, I started with the artist. I'm Melanie Johansson, the museum director and curator here at the Cornell Art Museum in Delray Beach. I had never shown their artwork in this magnitude before, and it was exciting to be able to give them a space and say, okay, imagine what could you do with this one gallery, this one space. A lot of them are actually from South Florida, one is from New York, and one from South Korea. I'm sure a lot of your viewers have seen these immersive art exhibitions that are popping up all over the world and I wanted to kind of bring that to Delray Beach. I knew that we had art, artists in our own backyard, artists that I'd worked with prior that could do this and so that was kind of the inspiration of doing this immersive kind of show. Mia Ando, she created these silk hangings with ocean waves on them and then there's a painting on the wall that's called Waves Becoming Light. This room also has two big pieces that are created from metal with gold on top of it, which actually represent two different types of moons. She's very in tune and inspired by nature. She comes from a Buddhist background, and so going in this, this room is very calming and different from a lot of the other galleries. That takes me to Ebb and Flow, an installation actually created in collaboration with two artists. Giannina does a lot around South Florida with salt sculpture. And Freddie created a loop of video that plays Miami scenes and the mangroves, and he's kind of commenting on the fast-paced city, and she's commenting on the ocean, the tides, the calmness, so it works really well together. Shinduk Kang is an artist that I've become familiar with. Shinduk has done outdoor installations all around the world, and that same piece that you see in the gallery is the same piece that has traveled the globe. She installs it different places, and then every place she installs the work, she'll add another section of fabric. She was saying it's supposed to feel safe like a mother's womb if the visitor sits on the bench inside of that swirling fabric. The Janus Project by Frank Heider, he wanted to show these Janus pieces all around the world as kind of like a pop-up. And so it was my idea to kind of fill the space with Janus heads, but I really wanted them to glow from within so that when you go in there, it's like this overwhelming sense of like eyes on you. Janus is a Roman god of balance, and you spell that Janus, J-A-N-U-S and it's a male, but in this exhibition, it's, he spells it J-A-N-I-S so that it doesn't have a gender. So Brookhart Jonquil creates these pieces where he uses one-way mirror to kind of throw the viewer off and create this feel for infinity. And in his artist statement, he says that he's creating something that's really only viewable through the mind of the person looking at the piece. This one is called A Clear Vision of the Thing to Come. And when you look into this piece, you don't see yourself. This gallery is created by um, an artist named Jacob M. Fisher. And he creates work using reflective strings and light. Each thread represents a memory and the light dancing on the thread is kind of like the, the fleeting nature of those memories. And there's no way you can be in here and not contemplate something, I think. The artist also created the projector mapping of the light. And so the light will never touch a part of the room that doesn't have string or isn't intentional. The atrium was done by an artist out of Miami, Alex Tremino. It's 26 feet high from floor to ceiling. There's a little bit of um, her Colombian heritage in there. A women's group in Colombia are supporting themselves by creating those crocheted pieces. 
We are a 100-year-old building with contemporary art inside. You come into the museum, you kind of get a feel for the old, a feel for the new. You are able to see the exhibition in about an hour at the most, which I think is refreshing. So it's definitely a different, a different vibe than your usual museum.